Welcome. <sighs> sure. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Chad and Russ. <laughs> Welcome back to Fuck This. Uh, <laughs> We're uh, heading right. to the casino because I know we got the next person we have to try and uh, have a little fling with is Cherry Tart, the performer. I have a feeling this entire game takes place on this island until the very end. Oh, it certainly seems that way. Yeah. But we'll see. Uh, so I want to go see that show. It's the other way, isn't it? Yeah, because this is right, this piano place, bar. Yeah, this is closed. Um, Let me out! We were trying to get to, uh, what, Mean Gene? Yeah, uh, but he, he was the one that told us... Didn't we need a magazine of some sort? What, That's go, what he go talk said. To him yeah, I, wonder, I, I can't remember what he wanted. I mean, I got some money now. I mean, maybe he, he, would, he would take that. Let's see. Uh, talk to man... Hello, sir. My name is Larry. Larry Laffer. Can you give me some information about the show inside? That's probably what we heard before. Mayor D. Respond, if you'd like to see tonight's show, you have to have some ticket. Uh, of course, some of the local tourist magazines. <laughs> right. Local tourist magazines. You know, if, if any place was going to have local tourist magazines, it might be the, the a place where we used to work. Let's see. Uh... Or maybe, oh wait, this is a hotel. Over here, maybe. I don't see anything. Hmm. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, hold on. Sure, sure. Holding on. Dun, 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 dun. So there's ticket a uh, ticket number that we're gonna have to have. It's a copy production thing. Yeah, it's fine. I, uh, so I found them all. Yeah, the walkthrough I found before I, I noticed. Yeah, I had a bunch of numbers. Um, <clears throat> so where shall I go? So let's see. In the most of the theater. Don't you know, walking right, walking Just down. Just type in. Go up around. to that guy and type in show pass. What? What? We also got points for looking in that mirror back there. Excuse me, sir, but I'd like to see tonight's show. I have my copy of None Tonight. Tonight? Right here? I do? I guess. What? I don't know. Oh, really? Well, for tonight's show, I am allowed to accept free passes only from our ad on page 19. What is the number of the pass on that page? Oh, so when we read the newspaper, we got this. Three three seven nine four. Three three seven. Oh, that's hit mm. number lock. Yeah. Nope. Never nope. mind. That's just three three seven nine, seven four. nine four. Let me look through the list of passes and numbers. Well, well, very good, sir. Says the Mater D. His tone and mannerisms changing entirely. But I must have made a mistake. It appears there are no more seats available for this show. I'm so so sorry. But perhaps something will open up later. Oh, he's doing that hand motion. He's implying yeah. that he wants you to wet his beak a little. You give him a little taste. There we go. Where's his cut? I just gave it to him. Some scratch. <laughs> wait, wait, you need more? I don't know. Why, thank you very much, sir. Well, well, look at this. I seem to have found a nice front row yes. seat available here. Allow me to show you to your seat. Things are looking up. Oh, it's like a Rockettes yeah, show. Yeah, we got can can dancers. This is not the front row. Quickly make your way through a crowd of men and take one of the few remaining seats near the rear of the showroom. Okay. Oh, I have no control over this. Okay. Let's just let this play out. I uh, gotta watch this whole thing. Sure huh? do wish it would go to the next thing. I hit enter, it didn't. Yeah, nope. There we go. All right, come on, show. All right, uh, can you move around at all? No, I can't even type or do anything. All so right. we gotta let this wonderful show play out. Oh, they're moving. They're moving to the side oh, now. Thank God, something's happening. To be fair, it's a lovely show. I, you know, we we missed part of it, so we, you know. Now, nah, but still, girls seem to be at the top of their game. Now his voice booms over the public address system. And now, lady and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, the star of our show, Miss Sherry Tart. 
Yeah. Yay. Oh, we got a cutscene. Look at the Give graphics. Me some money too. Oh. <laughs> this is uh <laughs> some hot stuff. Evidently, the men in the audience like Cherry's act as they begin to toss dollar bills onto the stage. Do you think anybody ever jerked off to this? Yes. This scene right here. Yes. Look, people took what they could back then. Isn't she wonderful, ladies and gentlemen? Oh. It's upsetting. It's really here for our own little cherry tart. Oh. Uh, le- uh, yeah. uh, isn't she wonderful, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen? Let's hear it for our own little cherry tart. Bye. It was fun. Good job. Back into your cage. That concludes tonight's two-hour spectacle. None tonight for you. You must clear the auditorium now, as our second show begins shortly. What? Good seats are still available, so tell your friends! We couldn't have waited for that second show. He concludes with a trite. Good night, and walk safely on your way home. What a show, eh, Larry? (laughs) It's bad you came in so late. You only saw the last minute. Oh, 20 bucks was a lot of money back then. All right, so, uh... What a show, eh, buddy? Oh, uh... And uh, and how about that cherry tart? So, moo... Uh, walk, uh, go, uh, was Where? That, was that it? Oh! Who's that? Go talk! Who's that? Talk, talk to, to woman... Look, Look at, at woman. Okay, hello, beautiful. I love your dancing. Ah, uh, my name is Larry. Larry Laffer. Well, uh, hello yourself, Larry. Replies the bathrobed beauty, turning to face you. I'm Cherry Tart. Uh, well, okay, hi. She looks uh, she looks worn out. Just like, yeah, she's at a show. You know, she's probably a little tired. Uh, look at Cherry. You are talking with Cherry Tart, the headline dancer in the casino showroom. Uh, boy, the animation is so creepy hello. in this. Hello. Hi. Talk to Cherry. So, Cherry, tell me what you want to do with your life. I'd love to quit show business, get a little farm someplace far out in the country where I would be alone, and raise organically grown vegetables, fruits, and herbs. Okay. Good answer. Talk to Cherry again. Well, Cherry, I'm just the opposite. I have hundreds of acres of land coming into my possession soon, but I'd love to be in show business. Oh, Larry, you're so lucky. How I wish I had some land. Give land to Cherry. <laughs> but oh, you know, I think I have some land coming to me from a recent <laughs> uh, legal development. I really have no use for it. Would you like a few acres? Like, okay, it's easy enough. <laughs> Do I? Why, Larry, I do anything for a little piece of land, but I must run. I still must get ready for the next show. (laughs) Well, uh, I certainly enjoyed our little chat together, Larry, and I'll look forward to hearing from you again soon. Now, if you'll pardon me, I must head backstage. Our stage manager has such a short fuse for a guy with such a sour disposition. It has been five minutes, you're right. Yeah, it's, it's a sour... It's fucking on the ball. Dipo... Dipso... Dipsos... Dipos... Dipo... Deposits. Sour, sour deposition. Deposits. Oh, we need the deed to the land. <laughs> oh, shit. When you get the deed to the land, just knock softly on that door over there. I'll be waiting the way, near the door. The way this then. game's going, I feel like I should just walk over now and be like, knock, give deed, and it'll yeah. be like, here's your deed! Oh, Larry. I can just picture my little country place now. Well, time to go find me some, uh, some, some deeds! Mm, well, one deed. Deeds and deeds! 
Okay, well, I feel like the first place I should go is back to the offices. Offices? Of where I began, where I was working. Or to the house, I guess. But I don't think See, she, if, she'd be there. If it were me, personally. Yeah, you wouldn't go here? Well, no, I mean, he he doesn't have the deed on him. Um, It's it's coming into his possession. Yeah. There's probably going to be somebody to mediate that transaction. I'd probably be going to the... How we cheat him. Or uh, do we cheat him in hell? It is a legal matter, you're yeah. right. That's what I would do. Let's say right. that's what you should do. You know what? I've been wanting to deal with Dewey Cheatham and Al anyway. Uh, uh, talk to Roger? Yeah. Is there a lawyer available who could help me? Yes, yes we-, oh. we have someone available. What specifically do you want, sir? We have all sorts of attorneys here. What did that second girl do? Real estate? Uh... Duh, cheat him. There we go. Oh. So why are we at the lawyers? Divorce. Yes. Divorce. 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 I'm all over the place. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> terrible. Excuse me. <laughs> My name is Larry. Larry Laffer. I'm in desperate need of a divorce. Is there anybody here that could help me? Hello, Mr. Laffer. It's a pleasure to meet you. Certainly. We heard Dewey Cheatham and Howe would be most proud to satisfy all your legal needs. Currently, Mr. Dewey is in court, and Mr. Howe is taking depositions down at the court, but you, you are in luck. Ms. Cheatham is available. Go right in. Her door is just behind me. I'll tell her you're on your way in. <laughs> Off we go. Oh, boy. Another one. Good. Hey, Mr. Laffer, says the attorney from her desk with a smile. I'm Susie Cheatham. How may I help you? Susie Cheatham. Uh, please make yourself at home. Have a seat on my couch. Sit. <laughs> no? Yawn. Looking around. Talk to Susie. Hello, Miss Cheatham. My name is Larry. Eh, Larry Laffer. Good day, Mr. Laffer. How may I help you? Oh, by the way, Mr. Laffer, did my secretary explain to you my policy concerning new clients? This first consultation is always free, but then you'll owe me for any work I do. I'm sure you understand. Look at Larry's face right now. <laughs> it's oh! A, oh! Just fucking hurry! <laughs> So I'll talk to her again. Uh, uh, oh, ask her. Divorce. <laughs> How exactly do I go about getting a divorce, Miss Cheatham? It's simple, Mister Laugh. As long as you don't expect to take your case through the local court system, which is owned lock and stock and barrel by Kalalu's father. You can just let me take care of everything. My standard divorce runs five hundred dollars, and of course, I expect to be paid in cash. Shit. Uh. Well, how about. Let's focus on that divorce later. Let's try to get that deed. Deed! <laughs> that's, 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 that's you. Miss Cheetah, uh, allow me to come right to the point. My wife, Kalalao, was a wonderful woman and brought to our marriage a considerable dowry, consisting of. A, consisting? Of a few no-load mutual funds and some extensive real estate holdings. I was wondering if there was any easy way for me to get my hands on that land. I've heard of some ancient island tradition concerning men and real property. Say no more, Mr. Laffer. I know exactly what you mean. According to ancient island custom, and any, any land owned by either or both spouses upon dissolution of the marriage uh, becomes the Jeez. exclusive property of the male member of the household. Congratulations, Mr. Laffer. You are now the owner of a considerable chunk of none too not real estate. I'll make the necessary arrangements and have Roger, my secretary, boilerplate the papers for you. Doesn't seem right. Why? 
just, uh, it's just it's weird. I get it all. Yeah. Just You're the man. Because I'm the guy. <laughs> Uh, Russ, it's divorce in the 80s. And it's the 80s. What are you gonna do? Uh, deed! Uh, is that deed ready? Ms. Cheatham has instructed me to prepare your land deed. I'll have it ready soon. Why don't you come back in a few minutes? And just walk out and walk back in and see the Yeah, it's like this. Deed! deed! Yes! Absolutely, Mr. Laffer. Here it is. But you know that land is so isolated from the main tourist areas, you'll never be able to sell it to a developer. It is nothing but worthless forest land. No one could build a tourist trap there. I mean, you say that, but, uh... I got a lady who's hot in the pants for some deed action. Give her the deed! <laughs> <laughs> um... Alright. Time to go knock softly on her door, you know? You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, see if she's in there. Yeah, that's. She asked me to do that. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm, uh, I'm gonna do that. Look in the mirror. Whoa. Look in the mirror. Oh, Mitot. <laughs> this is weird. You're right. I told you. Is the microphone in front? You see yourself looking back. Got two points. Nice. Look at that. Hundred percent. This bitch. <laughs> I'm sure there's something we've missed, right? Where have we? Knock. Knock. Softly. Oh. Okay, fine. Lightly knock. 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 Daring to, to, oof, no, go dare, daring to defy the authorized personnel only sign on the stage door. You softly knock one, two, three times. <laughs> you hope Cherry is true to her word. <gasps> A small voice whispers through the door. Larry? <laughs> Is that you? <laughs> you think to yourself? Thank heavens, it's Cherry. <laughs> yes, Cherry, it's me, Larry. <laughs> Larry left. Oh, Larry, I've been waiting for your return. Did you get the deed? This is all very strange. Got it right here, sweetheart. You respond, and I think you know just how much I'd like to give it to you. This is your big chance. Now you can move, give up show business and move to your own little place out in the country. Oh, Larry! 640 <laughs> acres of virgin none to night rainforest, perfectly suited for slash burning and typical <laughs> agriculture pillage. Shit. You just made me the happiest woman on earth. Come on backstage and allow me to properly express my appreciation. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to get a little something for Kalao's worthless farmland after all. Larry, you're so wonderful. You've given me what I always wanted. I think you know what I've always wanted. Uh, Cherry smiles at you in the darkness. At least I'll be able to remove this costume never to wear it again. Uh... Yes. Yes. Yes! <laughs> uh, can I undress as well? What are you, yeah. modest? Hurry up, Larry. The second show's about to... S oh, we see where this is oh! going. You carefully consider her offer, but not for long. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. They're just doing it before she has to do a show. Uh, you think I that's all? You think that's as far as it's going? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, what... They're not gonna, they wouldn't dare. Oh, Larry, cries Cherry. Don't you just love real estate business? Telling ya. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh. Looks like they're oh. inflating and deflating. Jeez, ow, ow, oh, ow. Fucking headbutting him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Larry, I could go on like this all night. You're the only one. <laughs> all right. Who turned out that light? No. What's that drum roll? No. Oh no! She cries. Quick, Larry! Get dressed! The second show is starting! Come on. You both scramble to find, sort, and wear whatever articles of clothing you can. Jeez, it's dark, Cherry. I can't tell what's what. Oh, you shout. Uh-oh. 
Oh, the public address is... Uh, the public address system booms. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to None Tonight for you. Our spectacular tribute to the thing we all love most. Where's my pants? <laughs> 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 the announcer's voice booms over the public address system. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, the star of our show, Miss Cherry Tart! You Von Druk! You scream. People, hundreds of people, and every one of them staring at me! You're caught, Larry. <laughs> Red-handed, too. And wearing Cherry's costume, too. Oh. Oh, is that us? Yeah. Oh. He couldn't see. He put on whatever clothing was there, including the hat, the headdress. Lady and gentlemen, the star of our show, Miss Cherry Tart. You hurry to dress in the darkness backstage. You must have grabbed the wrong, wrong clothes. So that's why your underwear was such a tight fit. But why did he put on the headdress? <laughs> our star, Cherry Tart. Can you type? Cherry! <laughs> <laughs> you walk to the beginning of the runway. Oh boy. Oh Jesus Christ. Well, Larry, you've done it again. Now what are you going to do? <laughs> and put on a show. Dance. Okay. S summoning up all your courage, all you right. begin to wiggle your way down the runway. Yes, yeah, sure. <sighs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh god. Right. Oh, the audience must also appreciate your taunts as they begin to throw dollar bills at you. <gasps> Are they going to give me $500? I hope so. Did we just strip for our divorce money? They are. They like you. They really like you. Oh, my God. Uh, to be fair, he is killing it. Yeah, he's... Oh, whoa, he just... He just took it all off. Time passes. Time in which you dance and dance. Meanwhile, picking up many, many $1 bills. Dance until your legs just can't take it any longer. <laughs> Which isn't really that long, considering you are wearing a pair of high heels three sizes too small. Oh! Jesus Christ. <laughs> Major D, wisecracks. Uh, you seem to have been a big hit with the audience. Five hundred one dollar bills ain't bad for your first night. You think, just imagine, I got to have all that fun and make money too. And that was even better than being a programmer for Sierra Online. Oh my god, now I'm walking around like this. Uh, so are you gonna try and talk to her now? Well, I thought I'd try and get my clothes Fair back. enough. Where'd she go? I don't know. Take clothes? Take clothes. Uh, oh, look, I, uh... You can just keep that? Maybe for fun? Just... Oh, me and Gene Okerlund's gone. Oh, fuck. Again. All right, well... We, uh, we successfully stripped for our $500, and uh, on tomorrow's episode, I think we're going to go get ourselves a divorce. Yeah, I, I couldn't be happier about it. <laughs> this, is, this is a wonderful <laughs> situation we found ourselves in. I really want to get, I want to cut ties with all these people and get the fuck off this island is what yeah, I want to do. He really has to get out of here. Uh, well, anyway, uh, tune in tomorrow, folks, to watch. Uh, we're going we're gonna to give you a how-to on uh, divorce. Yeah, we're going to show you how things were done in the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> which is, if you got married, you got a divorce, yeah. for the most part. <laughs> it's just the way it went. So, yeah. Like, share, subscribe, comment below, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye!